It is remarkable what you can find discarded in the mall. I pride myself in recognizing a valuable asset when I see one. Not Rule funny. one, always have an exit strategy. To ensure one's continued existence within the mall, one must maintain a plan of escape at all times. I acknowledge the irony of me creating this rule despite my current inability to depart this place. You may laugh briefly without causing offense. Enough chuckling. Gather the steed I require and return with haste. Your cipher awaits. Rule 2. Keep a low profile. The Mo is no place for theatrics. Get in, get what you want, and get out, while endeavoring to retain your limbs and other possessions. Now that the jailers noticed you, you're doomed. Anything of import you do in the Mo will catch his attention. And attention is exactly what we don't want. First, he'll turn the Soul Seekers on you, then the Towers, then his Kill Squads. And after that, well, you don't want to know. Surgical and meticulous, that's how you stay alive. The good news is that you're safe here in my refuge. Not so out there. Remember, should a tragic fate befall you, some of that precious Stygia might slip through your fingers. Fret not, mortal. A day at most away from his gaze and the Jailer will turn his attention elsewhere. Then it will be safe for you to venture out again to acquire Stygia. For me. Rule 3. Trust is earned and information has a price. You recall the cipher I gave you? That's right. You are now in my debt. For the Earth Mother! You will never escape the more! Carefully when the eye of the Jailer falls upon you, mortal. It would be frightfully inconvenient to lose a trading partner with such potential. Return. You really shouldn't linger here. The Jailer doesn't like having his toys taken away, even once he discarded. Go on, back to Arbus with you. Torgas, huh? Once I told you that your friends were being held inside, I knew it was only a matter of time before you came to me for aid. Because I was able to anticipate your request, it just so happens I have already acquired a portal device that leads into the tower. I will dispense with the usual warnings and disclaimers as your unique combination of courage and foolhardiness would render them moot. Do not ask how it was obtained. Simply consider it a gesture of goodwill that you are now obligated to repay. I look forward to our future transactions, Moorwalker. I was dreaming of home, only to awaken in this place of torment. Before we were recaptured. Do you have the means to take us out of the Maw? The Waystone worked. What a remarkable place. Rule 4. Maintain a list of those who might wish to end your existence. Do not flatter yourself. Your presence on this list is among the least of the more sworn functionaries. At the top of my list is an Inquisitor. His position has risen. 
I would be most generous were his existence to cease by your actions. The souls here are forced to burn, smelted into raw material for the Jailer's vile creations. This is the place I saw when I peered into Torghast. Lady Proudmoore is near. Another one of your games, I suppose. Tormenting me with the vision of this Horde champion. To aid me? <laughs> or were you hoping to see a fight? No doubt you want me to think this portal is a way out, when in truth it leads deeper into this accursed tower. But what choice do I have except to try? Wait, it's really you, isn't it? Yes. I saw you use the Waystone to escape. It seems so long ago. If I attune my teleportation spell to your ability to leave the Maw, I can finally be free of this place. Unless... Unless this is just the cruelest trick of all. Bane! Thank the light you're alive! It is good to see you safe, Jaina. Though my wounds are healing, I confess the horrors of the Maw still haunt me. I... understand. Any news of Anduin and Thrall? We need to return to Torghast and... With respect, Lady Proudmoor, you need to recover your strength. Let the Moorwalker resume the search for the others. Wise words, High Lord. I trust your judgment. I am in your debt, Champion. Though we've been on opposite sides in the past, we now face a common enemy.